Man United told minimum price for Declan Rice as West Ham dig heels in. West Ham United manager David Moyes has revealed that Declan Rice is not for sale and it would take at least £150 million for suitors to lure him away from the London Stadium this summer. Rice is the subject of heavyweight interest, including from Manchester United, but any interested parties face a fight for his signature. According to Fabrizio Romano, the 23-year-old is United's priority midfield target in the summer transfer window. The Red Devils are keen to bolster an area that has boasted little upper echelon quality for most of the last decade. However, Rice has captained West Ham in Mark Noble's absence during the last two seasons and is widely considered one of Europe's best midfield maestros. He is a stalwart of Gareth Southgate's England team and has been crucial in helping the Hammers return to European football. It's only natural that Moyes and the club won't let him depart easily, and last year he claimed that their pounds 100 million valuation was a bargain in a mid links to Chelsea. The ex United boss may have been speaking facts because he has now revealed that interested clubs will need to cough up at least 50 million pounds more this year. Justin, Eric Ten Hag will take Anthony to Man United, if made Old Trafford boss he said, the first thing to say is that he is not for sale. But if you are interested, it will be north of that, because £100 million was cheap last summer, and £150 million just now would be minimum, but he is not for sale. Moyes has explained that West Ham will take inspiration from Tottenham's stubborn approach to losing Harry Kane last summer as Manchester City pushed for a deal. And the Scotsman has insisted that, whilst player power is growing, the club hold all the cards amid interest in his services. Read more, Man United players face strict dress code under Eric Ten Hag I look at what Tottenham did with Harry Kane, albeit it in a different way, Moyes continued. They said, no, there is a price, and if someone wants to pay the price, then we'd probably do it. If they don't then he's not going anywhere. That's it, they have kept him. In many ways, the football clubs are the people in charge, they've got the contracts. There will be times when players have got the power, but at the moment we have got Declan on the best part of a three-and-a-half-year contract, just like Tottenham have got Harry Kane on a contract, and they control what happens. Want the latest Premier League news as we publish it on Express Sport? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here.